Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, galactic star beings of our universal legions of light. Mercury turns direct today at 8 degrees 8 minutes Capricorn, 8-8 portal of the Lion's Gate frequency of our Lion Nation from Lyra. The acceleration and quickening of consciousness is amping up, preparing for our quantum leap into the full awakening timeline. Our local Solaris continues to release constant solar flares and flashes with multiple C-class flares and two more powerful M-class flares today. We also witness today on the Schumann charts multiple rainbow diamond columns of light with a 1010 portal activation at 10 hertz. Pachamama received another massive activation today with a magnitude 7.0 earthquake in Indonesia on the Ring of Fire at 606 UTC encoded with the 66 code of Christ Consciousness. Great Spirit speaks to us in many ways. An unusual phenomena also happened today as the tail of Comet ZTF C2022 E3 is being disconnected from the body. She is releasing and sending the divine feminine energetics for the dismantling of all old false systems and sending in the guardians of Gaia for the final phases of our great ascension. The master codes are flowing in today directly from Mother Father God from the Great Central Sun through our Solaris and deep into the heart centers of all sentient beings of the way and deep into the crystalline core of Gaia. With these codes are the upgrades and keys to our quantum leap sequences into the new human of Homo Luminous. All our good people of Mother Earth are uplifted, released, and redeemed in the true light of Source. In the mind of Buddha, we realize our true nature of stillness, and from the power of silence, we rise in the glory of the golden age of heaven on Earth. Our rainbow tribe of the new Earth is every color and every creed of every nation. We honor and support all cultures in unity consciousness. The concept of the meek inheriting the earth is in being kind and compassionate to all our people of this realm. This is the powerful path with heart. What the great sages and seers call the middle path. All are equal in the eyes of spirit. We walk the simple, direct, and quick path to the divine on our journey within to the kingdom of God at hand. Be in the love of our Holy Spirit and shine out your bright virtue of your eternal bliss consciousness. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful prayer and invocation. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 17 degrees, 5 minutes Sagittarius. The sun is at 28 degrees, 34 minutes Capricorn. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 29 degrees Capricorn. A woman reading tea leaves. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 18 degrees Sagittarius. Tiny children in sunbonnets. From astrologyweekly.com. And today from Divine Brothel of the Light, Roberto Nunez, 444-818-1122. Your demonstrations are coming. Your dreams are becoming reality. Pay attention, solar activity is about to increase. This is activating our vibrational frequency. The sun, as such, is a stellar portal to our ascension. Hold the line. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Celia Fenn. Grace, gratitude, and rhythm. Things are certainly changing and energies are moving as we align with the new flow of energy. The sun moves into Aquarius on Friday already, and a week later we have the Aquarius Gate, 
two two bringing a powerful new focus on the flows of plasma light and water to our planet the new is emerging at incredible speed and some people are having difficulty finding their way in this whirl of energies be kind it is not easy for any of us i like to follow the path of the cathar rose to live with the grace gratitude and rhythm it is a powerful combination Grace is a deep and profound trust that all will be well. It comes from a deep inner connection with your soul and your higher self. You just know you are supported and that miracles will occur on a daily basis if you need them. Gratitude is a constant voicing of your gratitude to spirit for the flow of love and miracles that manifest in your life. It means being aware of all that is given at all times and rhythm. This is creating waves and patterns of grace and gratitude that lift you into higher frequencies even when you have to spend time in the chaos of the lower energies. I like to create a wave pattern in my daily life. I start when I wake up with gratitude and prayers. Breakfast becomes a ceremony of gratitude and joy. Tea time is also a moment to do a tea ceremony and connect with the flow of abundance. And so I set up moments in the day that create a pattern of higher consciousness connection on a daily basis. This creates a rhythmic wave of higher consciousness that weaves through your day and creates beauty and balance, no matter what is going on elsewhere. Peace and joy are always possible on the path of the Cathar Rose. From CeliaFen.com And today from Divine Sistar of Delight, Ramona Lappin. Divine unions complete as all black magic is dissolved. All remaining black magic, spells, curses, hexes, karma connections, and all interference patterns that have been trying to prevent divine unions from completing have been fully cleared and dissolved. Allowing divine unions to complete in the physical now as our cosmic reunion unfolds and divine justice is being served, setting all free. Divine union, balance, harmony, and alignment have been achieved between the cosmic divine masculine and feminine energies and principles, and peace ensues. As two become three to be as one, filling, opening, and igniting the hearts and minds of men and women with the infinite healing power of pure, true divine love, restoring the divine plan, and returning the law of one to earth and the cosmos. Together we rise in love as one, and become truly unstoppable. We are, it is, done. Everything is possible now. With the supernova of the heart event in full force and about to complete, we are rapidly quantum shifting back to our new Eden and heaven on earth, ready to fully awaken from the dream within the dream, as all is about to change forever in the blink of an eye. Eternal love, Ramona. From Divine Sistar of the Light, Erini, Crystal and Indigo Guide to the Galaxy, Athens, January 18th, 2023. The Return of the Divine Kundalini. A whole new chapter on the revival of the Divine Kundalini is starting today. The Divine Kundalini is the essence of life that runs through the paths of all life. It is the life-giving force that penetrates, clears, rejuvenates, nurtures and enlightens all the inner worlds. It is the light that souls are made of. A being becomes enlightened when this living force energy is flowing freely through his or her inner worlds, where there is no resistance, no trauma or program to block the flow, because it all has been seen, purified, healed, integrated and accepted. Inner and outer become one. What is within is also without. This is also when a being becomes a conscious creator again. The removal of the snake from within the inner paths will allow the beginning of the restoration of the divine kundalini in the physical. The revived divine kundalini will be available for all humanity as it is connected to all aspects of our lives. Everything we are, everything we do, and everything we express and create, and this is one of the most important steps of the process, of the full reunification of the twin flames. Message by our grandmother goddesses and our grandfather gods. 
There is no true creation nor life without the feminine and the masculine in conscious union and dance. All life is made of this union. This is a forgotten truth that is to be embraced and realized again by humanity. The absence of this union and dance creates lack, illness, and suffering. The masculine and the feminine are to rise together out of the ashes of the old world. Free energy. 969999. Blessings of Realization. Erini. From Divine Sister of the Light, Raylene Brady. Still pertinent. Through the cosmic womb gates within and without. Here on the surface of our earth, the alchemizing of both celestial and inner earth physiology is sustained in us. Despite numerous attempts at meddling, the genetic template of this attainment is brought about by impeccable molecular bonding. This is the sea day, high fey, elemental and devic realms roll on dimensional earth. Those who continuously interface consciously within the dimensional overlays of our galaxy and the elemental structure of our earth are carrying out great tasks on behalf of humanity and beings within and on the surface of our planetary fields. Between solstice and equinox cycles, much that has been locked in the dark recesses of our psyche is brought to the light to be freed up and integrated, unified and restored. Our seasonal cycles are syncing up with greater cosmic cycles and their subsequent frequencies. Time is officially up on all things artificial. Although it is important to recognize ancestral DNA and integrate what lies within our planetary and off-planetary lineages, it is not only about us integrating for integration's sake, but more so a deep and lasting reclamation of self unto self. The divinity held in nature continues to support us in this unfoldment. For many, the AI overrides, shanghais, and inverts, covets this truly sublime connection with the natural world. This integral transfusion, of which we all hold vibrational reference points for, must undergo conscious restoration to anchor in and fully arrive on the earth. This is and of itself sublimely reanimated in us all during this current ascension cycle. As we free ourselves through correct use of geomancy and alchemy, the elements are in turn freed from that which has been severed through artificial and institutional misuse, enslavement and the raping of our precious resources brought about by that which is trapped in an illusory fallen system. We have been systematically programmed to fear the inner earth. However, herein lies the source of our empowerment, vitality, and sovereignty. Do not panic, remain organic. As we harmonize with 2D telluric currents, we enter into pure resonance with Gaia. This deep exchange of symbiosis revitalizes our innate relationship with the 2D telluric realms. Much of the loving and careful preparation has already taken place for what continues to unfold at this juncture. To ensure our ultimate success, we must, as individuals, in a collective free will, choose to heed the call and accept the divinely orchestrated gifts laid before us. We are not only remembering the importance of our symbiotic relationship with the kingdom collectives, but our own metamorphic nature. The following timeline account serves in neutralizing many probable convergences. The Cathars saw Jesus as a realized person, directly accessible, therefore negating the power and purpose of the Church of Rome. When the mass slaughtering of the Cathars by the Roman and Draconian invasion took place during the siege of Montségur in France, they weren't ready for what came next. This was meant to bring about a massive fear-fueled timeline trigger event, which in part did. However, the divine codes held within the Cathars' actualized blood was successfully transfused as it saturated the soil. Instead, this had a positive polarizing effect as their self-realized nature enlivened the elementals and the telluric currents at a 2D through 4D level. The Cathars are protectors of the Mother Ark as part of the Ark of the Covenant. 
and are sanctioned with the ability to open the planetary stargates and reinstate creational codes stolen and replaced by NAA. The Cathar codes continue to activate the land and us as we release the fragmentation of phantom matrices and recapture through the inner standing of what we hold in our own precious pure blood codes and keys. The purity of this alchemizing creates a deep connection within the telluric currents pulsating in us all. The original Eucharistic elements are said to be authentically a Syrian ritual, the body and blood, bread and wine through the heart of the Christos, not the inversion coveted agenda version. The transubstantiation is an ingenious enactment brought about by symbiotic plants and heavenly and earthly elemental organic exchange. Not all is as it seems, and although we are by no means completely out of the woods as yet, with the 3D trapping mechanisms playing out on the program screens of mental essence, nevertheless we can readily attune with this divine life-affirming sacrament. As we fully receive from the ocean of divine mercy, we restore the timelines and organic creatrix fields of Earth's sacred body. This supports us in catalyzing our personal and planetary prospects. Babylon, Babylon, blah, blah, blah. And as the distorted narrative continues to collapse under the weight of its own stupidity and absurdity, keep staying in your own lane, choosing your optimal timeline and reality. May grace and godhood prevail. Rise and shine, homo luminous, rise and shine. Raylene Brady And from divine sister of the light, Aurora Ray, Love is the pathway to ascension. Love is a pathway through which we can become aware of ourselves and our true nature. If you want to live your life the way you want, you need to love. If you want to grow spiritually, if you want to be in love with life and all that it has to offer, then you have to learn how to love yourself. The first step is always the hardest, but once you get over that hump, it gets easier every day. Love is a vibration that moves through time and space and connects us to our origins. It can be felt as vibration or color. Love is also an energy that connects us to each other and all life forms in this universe. It has no beginning or end, but exists everywhere at once, always moving through time and space. It's a frequency that exists within all living things, from trees and animals to humans. Meditation is the possibility of stillness, which can bring you to a climax of awareness. You will be able to see the other dimensions, to travel not only in space but also in time, and furthermore, to communicate with higher beings with all their wisdom and experience. Love and awareness are two sides of a coin that have been minted from your own consciousness. Both can be used as tools for spiritual growth. They are both needed for your awakening and transformation in all ways possible. The first step in spiritual growth is to learn how to let go of what doesn't serve you anymore so that you can open up to receiving more from what does serve you instead. Ascension is the process of moving from one state of being to another. It is a journey that takes us away from our current state of being and brings us closer to where we came from, our source. If you do not have love in your heart, you are not on the path to ascension. You may be on the path, but it will take you further away from your potential for ascension. When you are in love, we are closer to our source than at any other time in our lives. Because love is at the heart of everything that happens in life. Love is what keeps us alive and moving forward on this planet. Love is what allows us to grow as beings and transform ourselves into fully realized beings who can live in harmony with each other and with all of creation. Our purpose as human beings is to grow into the full realization of what we truly are as spiritual beings inhabiting physical bodies on this planet before we move on to higher planes of existence. Our purpose as human beings is to learn how to live in harmony with each other so that we can share this planet as brothers and sisters who share life's joys and sorrows together without fighting over them or taking them personally. When you are in love, you are fully present and aware of your own existence. Love is an awareness that is so complete. 
When you are in this state of being, there is no need to worry about anything else. There is no fear, there is no anxiety, and there is no suffering at all. In this state, you can do whatever you want because your mind has been transformed into a loving mind. You will literally love everything around you because love creates peace in the heart and mind. This is not to say that there is no wrong in the world. There is. But who are you to interfere with any structure? All structures have been given by nature. You cannot be the one who will change them. You can only love. But you cannot interfere with the way things are being done around you. Love and allow. This is the only teaching of all religions and all sages. Allow things to be. Without love in this journey toward God realization, there is no possibility of being fulfilled. Love creates energy, makes you strong, and helps you ascend to higher and higher levels. And as you proceed in your quest for glory, always remember that love flows from God, so do not try to force it outside. Find the source within yourself, and love will be there. But when you claim to love someone from outside, then it becomes a fake game. So the inner journey has to be continued, and the outer journey may follow as part of nature's law. Even the smallest effort put into the idea of love will make a world of difference in your life and the lives of those around you. It's true that there can be challenging times when working towards love, particularly when we are faced with difficult circumstances, but it is most important to hold on to the belief that something greater than ourselves is at work here. We have been loveless for so long that this has become something like a forgotten art, and without love, without a massive wave of love in life, the alternative is bleak. Love and awareness are your two wings. Love prepares you for awareness, and awareness liberates you from all conditioning. There is no limit. You are free. You cannot be trapped by anything. We love you dearly. We are here with you. We are your family of light. We are the Galactic Federation. Aho, Aurora Ray, Ambassador of the Galactic Federation from the Galactic Federation dot com. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn 144, God Code. Trust that the Most High is designing your desired life of peace and happiness with you. Communicate with Him what you do want and set boundaries with what you don't want. Dreams may be helping you see things that were hidden as well, so be sure to trust what is being revealed. God is listening and is bringing structure to your life through detoxing and purifying what needs to go. Then your vibration will raise, opening you up to being a match to receive the life you are manifesting. In Jesus Christos' name, Amen. God bless you. Love, Carolyn, from 144godcode.com. And from Divine Brother of the Light, Richard Rudd, Gene Keys, unlocking the higher purpose hidden in your DNA, Gene Key 60, January 17th, 2023 through January 21st, 2023. Limitation, realism, justice. Transformation always comes in the gaps. This is the teaching of the gift of realism. We plan for luck. We set up our easel, start a business, whatever the form may be, and go through the motions. We don't know when or how or what, but sooner or later a breakthrough will occur. We just have to begin, and it has to come from our heart. Sooner or later, because we're doing what we believe in and build a structure, fortune will find us. The 64 Ways And from the Yi Ching, the classic book of change, Hexagram 60 Limitation. Water rises over the banks of the lake. Without the proper container, the ritual of love spills its precious nectar. Justice is devotional bliss. Realism is commitment with vitality. Limitation is half-hearted dissatisfaction. Communication with elation. The superior man constructs methods of numbering and measurement and examines the nature of virtuous conduct. The 60th Gene Key is one of the deepest transmissions of the Gene Keys. It's not easy to penetrate and understand. It will take some time as we contemplate it. The shadow here is limitation. We hear that word and perhaps think, oh no, I don't want to be limited. 
But we are and always will be until we're dead. Even then, who knows? Limitation is not the enemy. Richard Rudd, 64 Ways, from GeneKeys.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Tanya Gabriel. Mercury stations direct today, which means it is at a complete standstill right now. The change of directions occurs on a powerful degree, 8 degrees, 8 minutes in Capricorn, and makes it particularly powerful. 8 is the leadership number, power, dedication, vision, abundance. Capricorn is the leadership sign, career, responsibility, endurance. This means you will step up on all levels moving forward, especially in regards to your career. When Mercury stations direct, we have more focus, and in Capricorn, the focus will be on your goals and intentions. What direction do you want to go in? It's an excellent time to devote your energy to staying on that track. This Mercury retrograde ends on a Wednesday, which is the day dedicated to Mercury, so the impact is even more powerful. On the next day, the moon enters Capricorn from January 19th through the 21st, making the Mercury direct and Capricorn experience even more dynamic as we deeply tap into the energy for a few days. Even more magnification is added by the 8-8 code of infinite resources, abundance, and leadership. You are tapping into what it means to own each one of your decisions, actions, every moment. This is how it feels to take your power back, your thoughts, your actions, your chosen direction at any given time. What a truly spectacular star code. From TanyaGabriel.com From Divine Bro, Throw of the Light, Eric Roth of Inspiral Nexus and Turning of the Ages Mystery School. Mercury Stations Direct, January 18, 2023. On January 18th, Mercury's three-week retrograde journey since December 29th, 2022, ends. Astrologically, this takes place at 8 degrees, 8 minutes Capricorn, and only 4 degrees from the asteroid Hygieia. In the sky, this shows the apparent movement of Mercury from backward to forward again. Mercury has now fully passed Earth in its orbit. Any station point for a planet is a still point, meaning a point where there isn't any perceptible movement. With as above, so below, it's a still point for what Mercury symbolizes within us. The mind, communication, thinking processes, and perceptions. This is a point of the mind at rest, and perhaps even a strong desire to move the energy in getting clarity, but the timing it is not yet there. Mercury is 20 degrees from the sun, current elongation. At this station point in Capricorn and in the early morning sky, visible with a clear horizon before sunrise. It is also in the constellation of the archer and above the ecliptic, path of the sun across the sky. This is above a part of the sky where the archer is drawing back the arrow, readying it to let loose. About Capricorn. What is the mind of Capricorn? As an earth sign, Capricorn's physical senses are primary and this archetype tends to think through and perceive by what is practical, long term and will it achieve tangible results and support for a given family, organization or community. Reality is locked in with Capricorn with tendencies towards conservative decisions before taking any action. Spontaneity and instinct are not the language of Capricorn. Capricorn desires to build, to manage and direct. Capricorn perceives when things need to be done and is concerned with doing whatever is needed to see something built in the right way. It is also an archetype that sees the long term as knowledge and wisdom carrier, stemming from the ancient circle of grandmother's imagery. In modern society and especially capitalism, Capricorn has had its shadow exercised for short-term gain, profit is simply padding the bottom line of corporations without concern for the impact outside of that focus. With Mercury stationing direct here, there could be a way to have greater introspection and meditation about what can serve humanity in the long term and placing profit on a lower level of priority. Into direct motion. Mercury retrogrades at least three times per year, with 2022 and 2023 
having four synodic cycles, which include the whole retrograde loop of the planet. 2023 kicks off a theme of the ancient element of Earth at each of the synodic cycles. Capricorn is the first one, followed by Taurus in April-May and Virgo in August-September. For some, the station point of Mercury is a sigh of relief to all of life's ills. But as I shared in a previous article about Mercury retrograde, this messenger planet gets blamed for a lot of the foibles of our lives and humanity. There are many other planets aspecting and shifting direction, among other things, but Mercury is a popular scapegoat. And certainly in this time of being in the sign of Capricorn, one of the shadow sides of the sign is indeed a scapegoat. On the flip side, Mercury Direct is not all, everything is okay each and every time. For example, if Mercury stationed direct near or in conjunction with Pluto or Saturn on a person's natal moon, this could be a powerful trigger for rough patch with family, their old identity, and any attachments to it. It could bring up obligations where the opportunity to let them go is there, but it would at the same time be stressful and potentially intense. Mercury direct is the primary apparent motion, as for all planets, but unlike all the other planets except Venus, Mercury never gets more than about 27 degrees from the Sun. Venus can reach about 47 degrees from the Sun as viewed from Earth, and all others can get to 180 degrees. This is due to our geocentric perspective, meaning an Earth-bound view. Since Mercury orbits between the Earth and Sun and inside of Venus's orbit as well, during this period of direct motion beginning in Capricorn, Mercury will get 25 degrees from the Sun on the 30th of January and will be a little bit better to see. Hygieia, the asteroid, will also be featured in the station point for Mercury. While it is not officially part of the shamanic astrology paradigm, I do work with it in charts and feel it contributes something of value into the interpretation of the charts. Hygieia connects us to our own wellness and self-care. We can add it to help us distress from the burdens and obligations to take on from work, family, and much more. Hygieia guides us to treat ourselves with healthy medicine and our physical, mental, and emotional health. Mercury is a guide and teacher for us all in the qualities it resonates with, specifically to do with the mind, thought processes, communication, and even our nervous system. If we step into the frame with the perspective of Mercury as a helper and guide, then we may overcome our anxieties around the nature of this planet and its symbolism. Instead of grasping onto something so strongly that it's airtight, we can open to other ways of doing things or seeing ourselves in beyond the tension we may create. From turningoftheages.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Ruby Falconer. January 18th, 2023, Mercury Direct in Capricorn. In the language of shamanic Egyptian astrology, Mercury is allied with Thoth, the sacred scribe. Capricorn is allied with Hanum. Thoth and Hanum are ancient archetypes. Their stories emerge from the mists of prehistory, and both play a role in the Egyptian creation story. Hanum created the living beings of earth on a potter's wheel. Thoth is the creator of language, writing, and time. These three, language, writing, time, are central to our perception of reality. Our thoughts determine what we believe reality to be. Our words reinforce that perception and communicate it to others. Language is crucial to building a collective vision. A collective vision is key to our survival. This collective vision becomes our reality construct. Our reality construct isn't static. It is a perception that changes over time. Whenever we go through a process of transformation and change, Hanum invites us back on his potter's wheel and gives us a spin. He remakes our energetic body so that our container can better hold the transformations we are experiencing. Collectively, we are experiencing a shift in our reality construct. We need a new structure, a new container, to better hold this change. Our present time is rife with conflict generated by the disillusion of our old reality construct and uncertainty of what our new reality will be. 
There's not a whole lot we as individuals can do about this. We're pretty much just along for the ride. But we can examine our own containers and create structures that better address our changing reality. As we exit this Mercury and Capricorn retrograde period, commit to making changes in your own life structures that will support internal and external change. Mercury turns direct on January 18th at 8 degrees, 8 minutes Capricorn. From shamanicastrology.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Mercury stations direct in Capricorn on the Sabian symbol, an angel carrying a harp. Sun conjunct Pluto and Capricorn. After three weeks of reviewing and restructuring around matters concerning career, responsibilities, commitments, and accomplishments, the impetus is to begin building again. Realization follows realization, but still the atmosphere is intense. Despite the angelic lilt from Mercury Sabian, life is not always love and light. The solar conjunction to Pluto reminds us that sometimes life is downright terrifying. Sometimes we scare ourselves. The challenge today is to allow the fears to move through you. Some fear is necessary for survival. Don't touch the flames. Other fears are born of our conditioning. The fear of change, the fear of failure, the fear of never being truly seen. See your fear for what it is. See yourself as you are. You are glory made flesh, powerful beyond measure. All endings are followed by rebirth. Release what doesn't resonate with your true nature. Sing your soul song. Regenerate your light. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 245, Red Spectral Serpent. Spectral is the name for the number 11 and its keywords are liberate, dissolve, and release. The 11th day of any wave spell is about being liberated. Ironically, because of the mathematics involved in the Zolkeen, the 11th day is always the challenge of the first day of the wave spell. The Blue Eagle has no hold on us today. We can take a break from its influence. We can enjoy a day off from flying like an eagle. Today is Red Serpent, which represents life force, survival, and instinct. It is said a coiled serpent lies in the base chakra, kundalini, and when it uncoils and reaches the crown chakra, enlightenment is reached. This symbolizes the need to balance our earthly grounded nature, base chakra, with our spiritual nature, crown chakra. When you combine the meaning of the number in the day, the result is liberate to survive or release life force. To summarize, today is about letting go and releasing a liberating experience which has the potential to be very healing. Shed your old self and emerge renewed as serpent medicine is very powerful. If the serpent lingers in the base chakra too long, it can lead to sex addiction. If you are feeling frisky today, it's that serpent energy building up. Let it go and you'll feel more balanced. The spectral serpent offers liberation through rebalancing these energies, and so a potentially very healing day. Today is guided by Red Serpent, and so it is a double helping. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Red Spectral Serpent, 11 Cheek Chan, Keen 245, 18th of January 2023, Liberating Life Force, 18 1 2023 equal 917 equal 98 equal 17 equal 8. Day codes 18 social upheaval, conflict change, 9 completion endings, destiny service, humanity grace, 17 immortality legacy, 8 infinite abundance source flow. Month year codes 1 new beginnings, original, unique, leader, independent. 7. Spiritual Test, Initiation, Solitude, Magic, Mystic, Magician. 8. 20. The Awakening, Clear Vision. 23. Royal Star of the Lion, Strength, Protection, Support. Keen 245, 2 plus 4 plus 5 equal 11. Equal 2. Partnership, Co-op. 11. Portal Gate, Polarity. A powerfully liberating day releasing the chains of fear to reclaim our freedom. 
Be aware today's code is highly combustible. We have a double serpent code, bringing up fear and survival issues, which need to be released in order to liberate more of our life force. The nine completion code and the keen code will ensure we can walk through the door to claim our freedom as the old paradigm collapses behind us, crumbling to ashes. Through this test, we have a huge opportunity to break free from the fear matrix. Visualize the energies of calmness and joy flowing freely and humanity being fully liberated from the matrix game. Day 11 already. Didn't we just start our vision quest in the Blue Eagle Wave spell where we are being asked to fly high and focus on the big picture so that we can create it? Envisioning the highest timeline for ourselves and our planet as our visionary powers and third eye are awakened and activated. It is time for a mass awakening of humanity. Today, the eagle's power is very strongly liberating our clear vision challenging us to rise above the fear and survival issues, leaving the past behind us, in order to release more life force needed to energize our future creations. Tone of creation, spectral tone 11 in the emotional plane, the spectral power is that of disillusion, liberation, and release. The eleventh day of the Blue Eagle wave spell is the one that liberates our biggest vision. As it is an emotional realm day, there may be a greater tendency for people to lose it. The old fear-based survival issues rise to the fore in order to be dissolved and released, to make way for our bigger vision based on faith and trust in the divine plan. Trust, trust, trust is the message I kept getting today from spirit. So release, release, release in order to free up all your life force, vitality, and newfound passion. Celebrate your victory. Make no mistake, beloveds, today's code is a very powerful thrust for our evolutionary journey. We are on our way back home. Divine blessings for your magic flight. Today's questions are, how can I dissolve and release any fear-based survival instincts, liberating more vitality and life force, reclaiming my freedom in order to soar as the golden eagle? Are we ready to dissolve the illusion of fear and the false matrix to finally celebrate our planetary liberation? Divine blessings for your magical flight and for regenesis as we all rise from the ashes. In la ketch a la keen, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66, Keen 245, Red Spectral Serpent. The mantra, the code for today is. I dissolve in order to survive. Releasing instinct, I seal the store of life force. With the spectral tone of liberation, I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Angel of the Light, Bilge Sari, for your pledge and support on Patreon, and welcome to the Tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. If you'd like to support our work and mission and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to also thank Divine Angel of the Light, Lauren Bamford, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Angel. We appreciate you and your continued support. And I'd like to also thank Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Lindborg, for your donation today. Thank you very much. We appreciate you and your support, and we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so we're very grateful for each and every one of you. 
If you'd like to support our work and mission with a one-time donation, you can do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at eaglelovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork. You could purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a powerful prayer and invocation from Divine Sistar of the Light, Aurelia. Prayer for Fifth Ray Healing, Invocation to the Flame of Healing. Beloved I Am Presence, Beloved Angels of the Healing Flame, Beloved Mother Mary and Archangel Raphael, Beloved Hilarion, and all beings of light serving on the ray of healing. I come now before thy flame to request healing in God's name. I stand with my God presence to be liberated and healed from all physical burdens through thy healing light and love. I also ask to be healed from all etheric scars, mental and emotional traumas from this life and from the past. Flame of healing of purest green, bless my form and make me whole. Pour comfort into my soul and enlightenment for my mind. I am God's perfection manifest in body, mind, and soul. I am God's healing light flowing to make me whole. I am the master presence charging all my bodies with love. Beloved God presence, as I transform my consciousness, let heaven's perfection manifest in my daily life. Send thy ray of healing upon my soul. I am Christ's presence charging me with thy radiant, healing light, until I become the full manifestation of that light. Beloved I am, beloved I am, beloved I am. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed rest of your week as we continue our journey through the Ascension Vortex and through this powerful coming new moon in Aquarius this weekend. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.